It has been a long, long time since I have talked about Battlefield, and that is not without good reason. The game simply hasn't had anything to talk about, seeing as there's been no information about Battlefield 6, and Battlefield's life was cut short this past summer. But regardless, I am here, and I do have a good reason, and that is the arrival of the next-gen consoles. Today, I want to talk about a potential final update for at least Battlefield 5 and potentially some of the past titles before we hit these next-gen consoles. So before we start the video, remember that if you do enjoy to leave it a nice, thick, and juicy like as always. And of course, if you enjoy this kind of content and you want more content like it, as well as my coverage of several other games like Cyberpunk 2077, Call of Duty Black Ops Cold War, and Assassin's Creed Valhalla, then make sure you hit that big red sexy subscribe button right beneath the video. So what could potentially come to these games, or just one game, when the next gen consoles hit the market, what could potentially enhance them so that the player base has some form of excitement when they log into the game? I think one of the big things, and especially for Battlefield 5, is ray tracing. Ray tracing is already in the PC version of Battlefield 5, and with the next gen consoles coming with that ability, it would not surprise me if Battlefield 5 was updated to be able to have this ability on console. I think it would be something to very much enhance the visuals and the atmosphere atmosphere of the game, as that game suffers greatly in that regard, especially on the base maps. And in terms of other visual improvements, I do think certain things could be enhanced, such as running at 120 frames per second on console, since we will have that ability with the new consoles. It'd be very nice to see that, and potentially I could see these kinds of changes coming to Battlefield 1 as well. I don't know how likely ray tracing is to come to Battlefield 1, considering how old of a title it is and it was never in the game, so again, I don't know how likely it is. I could see the frame rate being boosted to 120 though, if possible, on console. Now, as far as Battlefield 4 goes, on consoles right now, it is limited to about 900p, and it looks extremely dated when you do boot it up. Uh, it's kind of weird booting up an Xbox One X, and it comes up with this grainy Battlefield 4 footage when I can just flip on my PC, and it looks smooth, crisp, and beautiful. I would love for them to just update the visuals in that game. Honestly, that's really all they need to do. Visuals and frame rate, even if it's only to 1080p, that would be excellent. It just looks so dated as of right now, especially on console. A lot of people do really love that game and Battlefield 1, and to see them get the proper treatment that I feel they deserve would be very nice, especially in terms of visuals, considering both games are pretty mind-blowing for their era that they came out in, in terms of visuals. Now, another thing that may be worth adding to these games in order to keep the player bases alive is adding some form of crossplay. Now, particularly on Battlefield 5, cheating is rampant. So, if there was like a console only form of crossplay, so a lot of people that I know that play PS4 and Xbox could play together without having to worry about the rampant PC cheating that EA does literally nothing about and at any time, and it's a horrible problem on the platform. That would be great because honestly, adding PC into a crossplay mix with console might kill the player base off completely. Whereas if they're just a link PlayStations and Xboxes together, that I think would be much, much better. And again, it's not necessarily a thing that that is coming. Now, as far as keeping the older games player bases alive, if they didn't decide to do crossplay, I think making premium free for some people who maybe still haven't bought it or maybe people who are coming to the game, however few that may be, for them to be able to experience the full game in its entirety with the rest of the player base that may already have premium, I think would be very, very nice. I would love to introduce a ton of new people to games like Battlefield 1 and 4 as they are excellent games, but I don't think a lot of people are willing to pay premium, even at a discount, for an up to, what, seven-year-old games DLC. I just don't see that happening very often. It's not something that a lot of people are going to do, in my opinion. Regardless, I do think something like that could help keep these player bases going even stronger than they are right now. Obviously, Battlefield 1, Battlefield 4, you can still go back and find tons of servers, especially at peak hours. During the day, it can be hit and miss, but there are people who still play these games, and I think finding any way possible to keep the players playing these games at least generate some sort of excitement for them as we wait on Battlefield 6 information is going to be huge for how well BF6 is received 
obviously it's not going to be the whole thing. I mean, if it's Battlefield 5 2.0, I don't think anyone's going to care, but I, I think DICE needs to do something, especially with the release of the new consoles that can generate something for fans of this series and give them a reason to come back to these games. Overall, how likely are these changes? Personally, I don't see them as all that likely. If anything, I could see Battlefield 5 getting a couple of enhancements like RTX and the frame rate boost and possibly BF1 because it was shown in a snippet of an Xbox Series X trailer somewhere like in the background for like literally two frames and that getting maybe a couple of enhancements but as far as a lot of these other kinds of things like cross play and things like that I don't see that happening we're definitely not getting any kind of new content like maps or weapons or anything that kind of stuff just simply isn't happening but as far as most likely things I think a couple of visual and frame rate enhances might be the extent of it rather than it just being simply a port onto the next gen consoles either way I think anything for these games that can improve them in some kind of way would be great. I would love them to add an anti-cheat system to PC finally for Battlefield 5. Not that a ton of people are playing that game anyway, but some people are still pretty hardcore on it. Regardless, these games deserve some kind of love, especially for the people who are sticking around with them. And I think this is an excellent opportunity to do something like that as a goodwill to the fans who honestly have been through a lot since Battlefield 5 was honestly revealed, let alone once it launched. So Anyway, thank you guys so much for watching the video. If you did enjoy, remember to leave it a nice, thick, and juicy like as always. And of course, I will see you in the next video.